At the point when Satan comes at you, perhaps this is on the grounds that you're attempting to ever figure things out, and for reasons unknown Satan moved past. So what an obligation all of you must be to come clean, not simply to be you, could accept that catching a foundation grant is each entertainer's most stunning Hollywood dream. Yet think about what it's not all style and fabulousness. Unbelievable entertainer Denzel Washington as of late dropped some insight, saying that the way dark entertainers need to explore to win an Oscar resembles strolling on a tightrope over a pit of crocodiles. Not worth the gamble, despite the fact that Denzel has been selected on different occasions, he's just won the sod after brilliant sculpture. At two times in his profession, now as a bona fide film legend he's revealing insight, into how things have changed getting approval from Oscar's board of trustees. Isn't the little glimpse of heaven? It used to be it's more similar to a situation. With two sides these days, don't peruse the paper you're clueless. Assuming you really do peruse it, you're misguided now. Before we dig into the full detail, we should initially recognize the fundamental subject for Nab Denzel Washington. He's won two of the greatest honors for entertainers, the Institute Grant for Best Entertainer. The first he got in 1989 for his job as Confidential Excursion in Magnificence. And the second was in 2001 for his phenomenal exhibition as analyst Alonso Harris in Preparing Day. He's likewise won a few brilliant Globe grants for his exceptional acting in motion pictures like Malcolm X, The Typhoon and Walls, not that he's gotten grants from the Screen Entertainers Organization for his parts in preparing day walls. And the flight, yet Denzel isn't a celebrity. He's likewise accomplished astounding work on Broadway and even got a Tony grant for his acting in the play Walls in 2010. This multitude of grants and his unimaginable ability have made him quite possibly of the most regarded entertainer in Hollywood. Yet presently, the entertainer immovably accepts that the Oscars lost their actual significance quite a while in the past, in as opposed to bringing more open doors, better jobs, and fatter checks to dark entertainers, Denzel Washington is persuaded that Hollywood honor shows have transformed into a ceaseless motorcade of mannequins constrained by the first class to try and have a potential for success. At winning the award dark entertainers, are supposed to think twice about standards and penance. Their creative spirits neglecting to do so could lead them to be disposed of by the strong figures of Tinseltown Denzel, is sounding an admonition to individual craftsmen about the expected snares of distinction. To effectively express this idea, Denzel highlighted a few specialists who felt the effect of this peculiarity. It's practically similar to we're examining a genuine revile encompassing the foundation grants, particularly for dark craftsmen. Take the narrative of Jamie Foxx, for example. There's been a well-established hypothesis that Jay made some sort of settlement with industry elites. In return for his soaring achievement, Jamie Foxx, who's coming 56 years of age this year, is on obviously perhaps of the most unmistakable ability in Hollywood the zenith of his acting process that ultimately driven him to remain on that sod after Institute Grand Stage came as his 2004 personal dramatization. Ray, his presentation in the film was remarkable to the point that the foundation couldn't avoid picking him for the most pursued grant in the acting scene. This accomplishment left considerably different titans like Leonardo DiCaprio, Clint Eastwood, and Johnny Depp anxiously biting their nails in jealousy. As per Denzel Washington's convictions, it appears to be that the entertainer Jamie Foxx got help from compelling figures in the business. In return for specific blessings, you maybe know all about a portion of James' industry colleagues. And it's quite significant that large numbers of them have obscure and dubious notorieties. Yet the genuine defining moment in James' excursion to progress began with an unforeseen call from. In all honesty, Oprah Winfrey, I get a call from someone greetings, Jamie Foxx. This is Oprah Jamie himself, clearly recollects the shock of hearing the voice of the television symbol when he got the telephone Oprah, came bearing an exceptionally enticing proposition that could shape his future. As would be natural for Jane Oprah, told him you're blowing it, Janie Fox this traipsing. 
And such it's not the way you need to take, she communicated a craving to show him the genuine meaning of his activities in the end. Winfrey whisked the entertainer and vocalist away to the home of a notable Hollywood maker, Quincy Jones, and starting there ahead, Jamie Starr, really started to rise anyway, as you may definitely realize Jamie Foxx at last understood. The dim web he had accidentally entered, he endeavored to reveal. Insight into a portion of the business elates. On their exercises, however, it appears he confronted serious ramifications for doing so James' experience. Isn't the main occasion in Hollywood history, where powerful figures have been cruel on their inclined toward gifts as Denzel Washington calls attention to these shadowy figures, appear to think often next to know about living souls and will obliterate any individual who doesn't conform to their plan recall. Cuba Goodinger, he scored a foundation grant in 1997 for his selling out of the blunt football player in Jerry Maguire anyway. His profession experienced a plunge soon after winning the lofty honor. Apparently Cuba accepts the business assumed a part in ruining his further progress in Hollywood. Winning that grant woke him up to the terrible truth of the local area he had accidentally turned into a piece of in Hollywood. A ton of exceptionally renowned stars, they get a ton of simpletons' charges. So in not assuming any of these to be certain, generally right, it's an obvious illustration of what can happen when somebody considers going toward the strong on account of Cuba Gooding Jur north of 30 ladies ventured forward to blame him for unseemly way of behaving and unwanted actual contact these entertainers went from undesirable kissing to intense contacting for certain casualties, charging that the entertainer contacted their confidential regions. Without their assent later, it was uncovered by the entertainer himself that something about the entire circumstance didn't agree with him subsequently. It seemed like Cuba turned into one more casualty of the tip-top powers. At play these allegations in the end, prompted his capture in the wake of being caught Cuba, kept up with that the charges against him were created, declaring that the fact of the matter was his ally and communicating trust in the overall set of laws anyway. He in the end confessed to some bad behavior, However, he demanded that his activities were only a consequence of being excessively cordial and that the ladies had misjudged his expectations, yet the entertainer doesn't stop there. It seems like more VIPs have felt the sting of what some call the Oscars revile one of the most brilliant models is the unbelievable Monique, who confronted a difficult stretch in the business in the wake of winning her Oscar. As per Monique, a few strong people started to come down on her, and she felt like she had no real option except to hold fast. She expressed no to a few huge names like Oprah Winfrey Tyler, Perry Lee Daniels, and Lionsgate. In the wake of declining to oblige what Hollywood expected of her, Monique wound up in a precarious circumstance for quite a long time studios and chiefs would have rather not recruited her since they thought she was bi and large excessively obstinate and difficult to work with sure we got marked as troublesome on the grounds that I said single word. And that was no now I expressed no to a few extremely influential individuals. That large number of stories I just shared are only a hint of something larger and it gets significantly more disturbing when you catch wind of the grievous destiny of another Foundation Grant Victor, and one of the best vocalists ever, Whitney Houston Whitney, was just 48 years of age when she died in a Beverly Slopes Inn. In February 2012, the day preceding the Grammy Grants, her unexpected passing sent shockwaves through the music world, and past it was said she unintentionally suffocated in her lodging with contributing elements like coronary illness and the utilization of denied substances. Yet numerous insiders who were near the late vocalist accept there's more going on, particularly on the grounds that Whitney had spoken about the unthinkable requests of the business Houston's demise was formally managed as a coincidental suffocating. Yet some say the massive tension from the business pushed her above and beyond one individual even said there was something exceptionally pained about her since she never appeared to be happy with her self-popularity. And surprisingly, 
winning a foundation grant for her extraordinary exhibitions came at an enormous expense for Whitney now as Denzel Washington, is bringing up the difficulties and requests on dark entertainers have developed considerably greater than previously, so it very well may be true to avoid working with the business elites, regardless of how enticing their commitments. Might sound many fans are communicating worries that playing the games in media outlets doesn't hurt an individual's vocation and notoriety, yet can likewise truly affect their life. And well-being, it's been apparent for quite a long time that there's something obscure and evil occurring in the background plainly. Not all entertainers who win these esteemed honors, be it the Emmys, Grammys, or Oscars, fundamentally arrive at extraordinary levels, particularly on the off chance that they don't observe the guidelines set by the business elites.